Welcome to our tutorial on ray tracing. First, I'm going to apply a glass material to the cream bottle. So let's double click. Under materials, let's choose glass, gloss, and we're going to select reflective clear glass. Click OK. Now click inside the screen to minimize the items panel and let's render our scene. Let's open the options dialog window. Under document properties, we have the number of reflections set to 1 and the number of refractions set to 4. Let me move the dialog window a little bit. This blue cap reflects off of the glass, but when the glass reflects from the bottle, we don't see the cap right here in the reflection. Let me close the dialog window and let's go to the decal. Double click on it. Now let's activate the illumination tab. Let's select Use Underlying Material and click OK. Now let's render to see how it looks. Here the decal is barely visible, but we better see the reflection of the cap from the bottle. We see the reflection of the bottle from the glass, but not the cap. Let's go back to Document Properties in the Options dialog window. And now we're going to select a custom setting. We're going to enter 0 for the number of reflections, and 0 also for the number of refractions. Refraction is basically a property of transparency. Let's click Apply and Close. And let's render. Now both glass items have no reflection and no refraction, so they're barely visible. Let's go back to Options, Document Properties. Let's leave the number of refractions at zero, but let's change the number of reflections to one. In this scenario, items won't be transparent, but this will better prove the point that I'm trying to make here. Let's apply and close and let's render. As you see, the cap reflects once from the glass and once from the bottle. Let's go back to Options, Document Properties. Let's increase the number of reflections to 2 and then we'll render again. Now we see the second reflection happens. The cap reflects from the glass, and the glass and cap reflect from the bottle. The same is true the opposite way around. Let's go back to Options, Document Properties. Let's increase the number of reflections to 4, Apply and Close. Now let's render. As you may suspect, the greater the number of reflections and refractions, the slower the rendering process will be. And this concludes our tutorial on ray tracing.